<clears throat> Hi, Florette here. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to assemble the teapot from the Pansies Tea Party 3D SVG Kit. I really love this piece because it's super easy to put together and it's really usable because you can just untie this, put a real nice gift inside. Um, you could put treats in here or a special you know, trinket or something like that. And it's a great gift in itself just because it looks so pretty just out on display. Also great for centerpieces at a party. So we're gonna get started with this one here. You can see I have already cut all my pieces. So we're just gonna lay these out like so, so that we know what we're working with. I've already put on the overlays on a couple of the pieces, but I've saved a few so that I can show you how we go about putting them on the other pieces because we have a handle and we have the spout to attach. All right, so let's get started on this. So first I'm gonna take, let's see, I'm gonna move these out of the way for a second. I'm gonna focus on these overlays here. And you can see one of them will have two spaces, two openings right here. That's gonna be for your handle. And this one has one opening and that's gonna be for your spout. And then there's also these design elements that you can, you'll glue on right here. So we're gonna start with that. First, we're gonna glue on these strips, the strip. And this is the only one that's different from the others as it has like a notch in it. And you can see this little notch and that's the bottom of your teapot. So I'm just gonna put a little glue right there. And we're gonna attach it right on the bottom and it's gonna fit perfectly in place, like so. Then your handle comes just like the spout. So you've got two pieces. I've already gone ahead and put the overlays on the handles and glued the two pieces together and then folded these tabs. These are gonna open like this, okay? Then you also have the spout. So I'm gonna take the two pieces, I've already put the overlays on, and I'm gonna glue just up to the tabbed line, and I'm gonna glue these two pieces together so it makes one spout. Just like this. Super easy. And if you hear a couple little birds in the background, we have some parakeets and some cockatiels and dogs, <laughs> if you hear that. So now that we have these two pieces all ready to go, I'm gonna show you how to put them into these overlays. That's why we didn't attach these yet to the base of our box. Okay, and this also has a tab here that you can a score line so that you know where to put it. All right, so we're gonna take these two pieces, now that we have them together, we're gonna close the tabs, and we're just gonna, this one has a little wiggle room too to make it a little easier for you. You're gonna slide it through, turn it over, and you're gonna put glue on each side here, on your tabs, on both of them. And then I'm gonna fold them down and hold it in place for a few seconds. And this one as well, just make sure you get both of them in there. And like I say, you've got a little room to play with on this just to make this piece a little easier because you're putting in two pieces, okay? but these spaces will not show when you put this on your other piece. It's gonna all come together. All right. And so you have that glued in place. Once you have it in place, you can then glue it on to your other piece here. Now remember, you've got a score line here. You're just gonna line it up, but you're gonna center it in this space right here. And that's what we did with the other overlays too. We just center it between the score lines. All right, so I'm gonna put a little glue on this. Nice and easy. Trying to get close to the edge, but not all the way to the edge, because it will squeegee out a little for you. And then I'm gonna put a little on the top section here, but avoiding the score line. Now I'm just gonna lay that right in here, just kind of centering it as best I can, but, and match up these score lines right here, like so. And there you have it. This piece is down. And now you can see how this all just blends together, even those little spaces. And then your, your tab, your fold is still there, okay? We're gonna do the same thing with this piece here, with the spout. 
But with the spout, the easiest way to do this, a little smaller, is to take one corner and slide it in and then push the top through, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing and glue on both sides of the tabs, open it up and flatten it and hold it down just till it dries. Or it's tacked down well enough. This one also has the tab, so we wanna make sure we know where that is. We're gonna take our base box here and we gotta make sure that our tab is on the right side because especially if you're using one-sided paper like this is white paper you want all your tabs to be on the right side so i'm just going to find where that is put some glue on this and glue it down Okay, once you have those, you're gonna have four pieces to your teapot, the two longer pieces and the two shorter pieces. You're gonna wanna line it up so you have a long, a short, a long, and a short. And you've got your handle and your spot on opposite sides, and these are your inside liners. So what we're gonna do is here is simply glue this side to this side, this tab on here, and so forth all the way down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm making one long piece. And you're just gonna line it up at the edges here, this corner to this corner, and glue it in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way down with all four pieces. Now what you can see here is I'm, I'm folding it over just so I can get it really adhered to both sides and I did that all the way along. Now you can see we've got one long piece with all our pieces. We're simply going to take the last tab and glue it to the other side. And again, you can fold this once you find your corners. You can fold it over like this so that it makes it a little easier to squeeze the two pieces together. And let those dry. And if you're using a quick dry glue, paper glue, it, it goes really fast. All right, now you can see we have our box right here. We're gonna take these tabs and just kind of give them a fold over so we have them. I'm just gonna fold them down so they move easy. Now I'm gonna actually pull them the other way because now we're gonna take our liner and I found this to be one of the easier ways to put it in. So I'm gonna just kind of pop it in here like this. It's gonna feel like it doesn't fit, but it's gonna fit. And then you're gonna get a nice tight seal. I'm gonna put all my glue on my tabs like so. Because this narrows to the top, this is, I find, the easiest way to put the bottom in. Now I'm going to fold these back over, bend them like this, and now I'm just going to flip my box up, up, upright, and I'm going to stick my hand down inside here and flatten it out along each tab, just using my finger to push it into all the corners and glue down the tabs. And this is putting our inside liner into the box. Now, of course, the PDF also will help you along with the process of putting the boxes together as all of them come with a PDF instructional file that you can print and look at as well as going along with the video. Once you get that done, you're just going to simply take your bottom piece and you're going to glue it on. Like 
so. Just pop it on there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it over. And, you know, I like to use um, a mat underneath so I don't get glue all over my table. You can use a scrap piece of paper or something like that. And there you have it. You just kind of flatten it out inside. And you've got your box. These pieces fold in. This, you're just going to kind of bend together like this. And you can see there's these nice holes at the top. So you can simply take a ribbon. Oh, you know, before I go to that, I want to show you on this one, we put this beautiful um, tag. And it says, wishing you the most beautiful day. I'm going to show you how we did that real quick. We're going to use some stamps and some embossing powder. Now, these do not come with the kit, but you can use any stamps you have. We happen to use the Pansies. Uh, for this one, and it has this really nice um, sentiment, wishing you the most beautiful day. It coordinates really nicely with this SVG kit. So I just took it and I mounted it on my Misty here. I'm going to use some embossing ink, and I'm just going to emboss. Let me put some anti-static powder on my little tag. I made a little, just cut a little banner tag here. With some embossing anti-static. Then we're going to add a little of the ink like so and with the misty I can do it twice if you don't have a misty you can use a regular stamp block and do the same thing but with a misty you can do it twice so you make sure you've got all the ink you need on your stamp okay so I'm just gonna pull this off and set that to the side And this is some embossing powder. This is gilded by, gilded by Brutus Monroe. I'm going to sprinkle a little of that on. And we're going to heat that up. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now let's heat that up. Put our powder back so we don't spill it all over. We're going to grab our heat gun and heat that up. So what I like to do whenever I'm embossing is heat your gun up for a few um, minutes or seconds before you actually put it to your paper. And what that does is it heats up the embossing powder a little quicker and it also keeps your paper from warping as much. A lot of times I'll start at the bottom just to get a nice stick to not blow off the powder, let a little bit stick to the ink. I'm gonna go from the back a little bit and then I'm gonna hit it from the front and we're going to see how beautiful that gold comes out. And I just think that adds a little extra touch to your project. Look at that. It's like magic. I love embossing. It's always so much fun. There you go. Now, on this one is just white. You could use, you know, a pink paper or you could add some ink to it. And that's what I did here is I just kind of inked um, the tag to pick whatever color I wanted and then you're just going to simply thread that through some ribbon or this is just some gold string. I'm just going to loop it through like so. Then you can take your ribbon and you're just going to thread this through it, through the holes in the top. Now this ribbon is going to be a little harder to pull through because it's real curly, but it works great. I just kind of like the ribbon. I thought it was really pretty, and I loved this color that it had. And I'm just going to, so you'd put your little treat inside there, a little popcorn or whatever, and then I'm just going to give it a little bow at the top, like so. There you go. And then whoever gets it, when they open it up, they've got a beautiful treat container and then you could you can either you know string this through at the same time or just tie it around your bow like this and trim it down and there you have it you've got a really fun gift to give and you can see this one I added this one the original one I did I added the tag with some ribbon I added a little extra ribbon but I just think this is such a fun 
table setting um, to use at any party or just to give in a gift itself. So I hope you enjoyed the assembly tutorial. I hope you found it nice and easy to make and have a great day. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.